guys. Welcome to Diamond Protection's uh, YouTube videos. My name's John. Today we're going to discuss on how to fit a cylinder to a BA backpack. Um, what we need, obviously, for the first part is a BA cylinder. So if we take our cylinder, again, when we take our cylinder, we inspect around the seal, around the, the thread, I should say, make sure there's no debris inside there before we attach it to the back plate. Then what we do, we take the cylinder and slip it inside the ring here, which holds it in place, and we line up the thread with our, uh, the well, well, they call it a demand valve. It's not a demand valve, this is a, a regulator valve here. The thread on these can be very temperamental, so you just gotta find the right thread. Once you find that it's taken up, you just keep going. What you don't wanna do is cross thread these. If you feel that it's not going on, stop and try again. Just make sure that thread's lined up. And that can, like now, at times, take a little bit. Okay, so it's taken up now, you can feel it. So you just need to tweak that up till it gets to its end. We don't want to over tighten it, guys. The last thing you want to do is start squashing seals. So you just tighten that up till it's nice and firm on the neck of the cylinder. Once that's firm, then that's in place there. So now all we need to do is secure the cylinder to the back plate. So with this type of back plate, you just grab the strap, do it up till it's firm, then push down the locking tab. Okay guys, that's how you fit the cylinder to the back plate. Next thing what you want to do is make sure that there's no leaks. So you turn it on, you'll hear that fire up, which is your low pressure whistle. Turn the cylinder on all the way, crack it back quarter of a turn. Look at your gauge, and uh, if you don't hear no leaks, as I don't now, it's in pretty good nick. We'll talk more about a low pressure test, which has to do with a whistle, in our next segment. Thank you for watching. See you again shortly.